Hey guys, this is going to be a quick get ready with me, um, kind of talk through video. This is my finished makeup look, so if you would like to know how I did it, please keep watching. So I've already done my eyebrows and I primed my face with the Too Faced Hangover Primer. And next I will be doing my eyeshadow. First I prime it with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I'm sure everyone's seen this. Um, I don't have a sharpener for it. I cannot find a, one big enough. I know they have them at Ulta, but I don't need any products right now, so I haven't ordered one, and we don't have one around the drugstore, or in the drugstores around me, and my nearest Ulta is an hour away, so I just use a brush, and then I smooth all my fingers and apply it, because I'm disgusting. I tried the Too Faced Eye Insurance, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, and I feel like I just, I always keep coming back to this. I feel like it does a better job. It makes the colors pop a lot better and nicer than the eyeshadow insurance. Now, I know I look super goofy. I promise you that. <laughs> it doesn't even look like I have eyebrows or eyeballs right now, but promise it doesn't feel like this. Next I'm going to be using my Modern Renaissance palette by Be Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I love this palette and it's perfect for fall. The only downside about it is it's felt so it gets super dirty. I'm you know obviously I could clean it off but I'm a lazy bitch so I don't. <laughs> um, hmm. Now I'm not a makeup guru or whatever you want to call them I'm not a professional so I do it my way and in the end it turns out nice in my opinion so if I do it incorrectly sorry <laughs> first I'm going to be taking brown fresco something like that it's like a purpley not a purpley like a pinkish beige color. I'm going to be taking it on a little blending brush. This is from e.l.f. This is like a dollar at a grocery store. Because <laughs> e.l.f. has those little like turning thingies that sell makeup, like the basic products. I'm going to be taking it on the brush and putting it over my eyelid whatever you want to call it, crease, I guess, but I'm bringing it up more than my crease. So this is our, um, whatever you want to call it, color that brings everything together. Now, I love the NYX pencil because if I mess up and I get some up here, I just wipe it back and then it goes away so it stays in one area. Next, I'm going to be taking Love Color and veteran red mixed together so that one and this one with a crease brush I guess a smaller blending brush and this one's also from elf this is also like a dollar or two and I'm gonna take that in my crease You might be thinking, wow, that completely fucking sucked. I know, that's why we have blending brushes. To blend things together. I'm going to go back in with my elf, I don't know, fluffy blending brush, whatever you want to call it. And blend this in. I 
I know there's like better ways to do this, but and this is how I do it, so. I'm gonna go back in with the crease brush again and just darken it up and I'm gonna be using more of the veteran red just because it is a red color and it's a little bit darker than the dark pink. I'm just gonna focus on my outer corner of my eye and just bring it up a little. And I'm going to blend that in again. And then I'm going to go in with the crease brush again and I do have more brushes in this but this is just the easiest way to do it and going with I don't know how to pronounce this but it's just a dark brown color this one I use it frequently as you can tell and just take a little bit of it and put it on the outside cor or outer corner of my eye Just bring it in like halfway. Then I'm going to be taking the same blending brush and blend out. You don't want to blend it in or it's going to be way too dark. So drag it out. To where it's blending, but not bringing the color everywhere. I'm just going to take a little bit more. Next, I'm going to be going in with the same color that I started with and just putting it on my Anastasia double-ended brush that came with this. Um, just like a larger br blending brush. And just blend this all in just to get even color. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Latte London um, brush. This is just for my lid. That's just a lid brush, and that's it. I got this from my Ipsy bag last month. I just started Ipsy, so I already love it. I feel like now is the time to start Ipsy just because they've had their company going on for, I think it started in 2012 or 13. I might not. Right. My phone cut off the video, but I feel like now if she knows what to do <coughs> and what products people like, and I feel like they mastered it a little bit more. But I actually loved my bag last month. Um, I will be doing um, an Ipsy unboxing, unbagging, whatever you want to call it, this month. But I'm just going to be taking. I'm terrible at pronouncing some of these colors, so it's just a gold color right here. I'm going to be putting it on the center of my lid and bringing it in the corner. Not all the way, but just a little bit. I'm packing it on there. Just 
does anyone else have this problem where one is just like absolutely perfect and bold and then the other one, the other eye is just like, it's like you used a different color? I just went back in with the gold color and tried to fix it and make it a little brighter. <coughs> Next I'm going to be taking that same crease brush and taking the love letter and the veteran red that I've used in my crease and doing my under the lower lash line but bringing the colors from here to the middle Next, I'm going to be going in with the same brown color and taking it in the outer lower lash line. I feel like if I use the red color, or like a reddish pinkish color on all of it, it makes me look sick. So, I just ombre it, I suppose is the word. Next, I'm going to be going in with Vermeer, and it's just the, um, I don't know, like the silver color, the highlighting color, and mine is almost out because I do use this every day. When I do a nice little look, I'm just going to be taking it underneath my brow bone and in the inner corner. Now that my eyeshadow is done, I'm going to be taking my Morphe gel liner with one of my Morphe liner brushes. My Morphe brush is in M217. Um, it's just a little liner brush. And I'm going to fast forward over this part just because everyone does this step, I suppose. Everyone knows how to do this. And I'm going to be doing a cat eye, which is the most difficult part of my makeup, even though I've been doing it for like five years. So, if you would like a video on how I do mine, just let me know. But I got you want one, so. I just went in with the Milk Jumbo Stick in from NYC in an NYC mix for my eyeliner. Let's get it off camera. Next, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is um, one of the deluxe samples I got to the Christmas set in the two minutes. So, I absolutely love this. So, I will have to buy the full size. So, next, I'm going to be taking my Roller Lash by Benefit mascara just because the Too Faced, whenever I use it on my lower lash line, it runs, not necessarily runs, but it just like smears and then it makes my eyes look like super droopy. I don't know if anyone else has this problem with it coming off and smearing down your face, but if you do and you know what mascara to use for your lower lash line, then let me know. Next, I'm going to be taking my Knock Off Beauty Blender and my Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in Melt Pearl. And I'm going to be taking two pumps of that on my hand. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but it's already damp. So. And I also don't know if I, like, apply this wrong. Not sure if there is a correct way to apply foundation with the beauty blender. But, oh well. Yeah. 
make sure you blend it into your hairline because you don't want to just have a circle on your face, a foundation. I got foundation on my eyes. Next, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand, and this is way too dark for me, but I mentioned in my last video that I ordered these off of Ulta, and I wasn't sure about the undertone, so I got a shade darker, because it said it had a completely different undertone, and I shouldn't have got it, but this is the only concealer that I have. I completely just erased the thought of contouring when I just did my concealer. So I'm going to go in with my Carly Bible palette by BH Cosmetics. Um, it's um, just bronzer. I'm just going to be taking the bronzer color. Whatever you want to call it, right here. I know my palette's fucking disgusting, so yeah. I'm going to be taking my Morphe brush, it doesn't have a name, it came in a kit, but this is like for cream contouring, and I didn't realize that when I ordered them, so I just use them for whatever the hell I want to, but I'm just going to be drawing on my lines really quick, so yeah. I contour everything that is possible, so I'm that bitch. But, I'm going to be taking my, I know this is not the purpose of this brush, but I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. stippling brush and blending this in. I need to get a new contour brush, so I'm just going to be using this for now. So I just went in with a little bit more concealer and fixed my nose contour and a little right here just to make it blend a lot better, a lot nicer since I did do my steps backwards. Um, next I'm going to be taking my Carly Bible palette again and using the lightest shade for highlighting. Now I don't have a highlighting brush so I just use my finger. Next, I'm going to be going in with a lip pencil by Cat Rice Cosmetics. This is the Ultimate Stay Lip Liner. I'm not sure if I told you I was going in with lipstick or lip liner first, but I don't see. Okay, rose, it's in rosy brown. Now, I ordered this off of Ulta because I don't really play around with lipstick too much, but it was on sale for like $2. And I was super excited for it. And as soon as I got it and went to put, to put it on, it snapped. So, this may not be the best, but this is the only one that has to match my lipstick. It just broke it in. Yeah, this is how much it looks. Awesome. Never buy this. I don't know if it's just this one or all of them, but I don't recommend this. I'm going to be going in with my Pastique um, Matte Lipstick in Florence Fig. Fig? Whatever. Fig? Fig? However you pronounce it. That's just in my Ipsy bag. And I was like, great lipstick, I don't wear lipstick, but it's the perfect color. It's like, um, a pinky brown color. 
I like matte, or not matte, but like the normal colors for lipstick. I feel like if I wear a bold color, it just makes me look super weird. I got this, like I said, my Ipsy bag last month. I just want to say if you haven't seen the Ipsy bags last month, they were adorable. So I have like my lipstick and a couple other products that I don't always use in this, but also this is adorable. But that is going to be it for my makeup today. Sorry if this is a jumble. I am trying to for the hundredth time my camera is cutting out on me because I have too much storage on here. So um, yeah, like I was saying, this is my final finished makeup look. Um, I hope you like it. I will be getting better at this. It takes time. Um, it takes practice. So also, if you keep hearing jangling, it's these buttons. This is super cute, but it's annoying as shit. So yeah, thanks for watching.